Hello, welcome back. Well, last episode, we decided to take Spirit Path to the Gram, where we now know that uh, Laura and Emma are here, but Eustace is not. And Laura and Emma took a boat to Lohengrin Castle, because of course they did. So now we're going to Lohengrin Castle. Oh, oh, that's a... There we go. That was a railing. Hello. Hello, Klaus. The boat is ready when you are. I will, or will you be taking off for Lo, uh, Lohengrin Castle now then? Let's go! In that case, do take care of yourselves. My prayers for your success will not cease until I see you back here completely safe. We appreciate it, Klaus. Let's get going. Onward! It's hard to believe it's in it's the middle of the day with how poor visibility is. And this has been going on for a while, for a whole month? I imagine it's a manifestation of the chaos in Erebonia, much like the appearance of the higher elements. There's a possibility whatever Emma sensed over at the castle is the direct cause. And I do feel I uh, feel like something strange is here at this time too. Oh, this time too? You didn't follow us here during our field study, did you? Well, I suppose there's no harm in admitting it now. I had my own duty as a familiar to fulfill, you know. I was to make sure this area didn't have any undesirable effects on you as a potential awakener. What kind of undesirable effects? Does that mean Lugram has something to do with the Divine Knights? More Lo uh, more Lohengrin Castle when Le than Legram as a whole. Oh, that big door we saw. It was probably a Divine Knight here. Once upon a time, a Divine Knight, just like the Ashen and Azure Knights, supposedly slumbered here. So it's not here anymore? Are you serious? First time hearing of it. All I've heard are the ancient legends, unfortunately. So all I know is that there was once a Divine Knight here. And now it's gone, along with its Awakener. Gone? Gone to where, I wonder? That's kind of a big revelation. Oh, look! I can see the castle now. I mean, even in this fog, how can you not? We're almost there. Prepare to disembark, everyone. Laura and Emma are here. Yep, they're inside, all right. I can feel them as mana. <sighs> Be careful on the way up. I remember how steep it was before. And all this fog's not going to make the trip any easier. Okay. To destiny! Are there monsters? I desire a fight. Oh, what a pain. <laughs> you look awfully happy about seeing Emma again soon, though. I do not! Yeah, she does. <laughs> oh, there's nothing to break, though. I want to cause property damage. And get items from it. Whoa, Celine. Lohengrin Castle! Last time we were here, the castle had this weird light surrounding it. Kind of like the old schoolhouse. Based on what I'm sensing, it shouldn't take long before... Wait, something's with her. I think Emma's fighting. Maybe it's what Emma was sensing before she left. Then we've got... When, then we've no time to waste. We should hurry. Weapons at the ready. Yeah. Going in. Cryptid? Come, Emma. We'll fight with all we have. Right! Stop! Ah! 
Luke's lamina. Now, Laura! Of course! Be gone! She did it. They didn't need our help. Whoa! I can't believe they beat a cryptid all on their own. Man, Laura's gotten even stronger. Emma's no slouch either. Her powers never cease to amaze. <laughs> Looks like they didn't need our help after all. They're not out of the woods yet! So it seems. Oh my. Oh, he's big. <laughs> Gluttonous lizard. I love it. What is that? Where did it come from? Laura! Emma! Huh? Am I imagining things? Reen! Celine! We can explain after we've taken care of things here. We'll back you two up. Ready? We're right here with you, Laura. I can't believe you're here. Very well. Then lend me your strength. Let's go, everyone! Watch out! This is a tough one! Oh, I know. Let's move! I'm going to unload onto it with a whole bunch of stuff. Actually, I should probably start with a motivation. Alright, let's do this! Yeah, understood! understood. Do that. Neat. So that. And last. Haha, -ha, you missed. Ouch. Let's move. Uh the plan. Hey yeah. Now's our chance. Awesome. Oh, I should have used the burst. Oh well. Okay. I mean like it's not too strong. Which is strong enough. Okay. Hey, yeah. Got it. Got you. I think I'm going to hold on okay. to the burst. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, we're it's poisoned. Oh, darn. Um, actually, what is it weak against? I should use Luminous Ray. Arcus activate. Leave this to me. Let's go, Laura. Hey, yeah. Okay. We got this. Ouch. Oh, okay, yeah, we got this. We got it. Okay. Throws there. Leave this to me. I won't give up. I'm asked. And we're done. Ah! <laughs> we should keep going. What the heck? <laughs> he died just in time for the fight to be over. Done. Awesome. Oh, finally. Yeah. I can't sense anything else here now. You guys okay? Yeah. It's... it's really you, isn't it? You're all here. <gasps> of course it's us. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. This is all so sudden. Still, I'm happy to see you're well, Reen. <sighs> I'm genuinely lost for words. I've never 
considered myself as the sort to cry at reunions like these, but clearly I was mistaken. Laura. I'm really sorry for making you worry about me. And I can't possibly thank you enough for fighting on so that we could see each other again like this. There's no need to apologize, Reen. I swore to fight as Class Sevens. No. As your sword, I swore that my blade would not be broken until it returned to your side. And I swear now to continue upholding every word I've said, with Adios as my witness. Thanks. I really am glad to see you're alright. And the same goes for you too, Emma. I feel the same way. I can hardly believe that this is actually happening. The day has finally come where we can all be together again. <laughs> it all feels like a wonderful dream. A wonderful dream, huh? Well, fortunately, this isn't a dream. These might be tough times for Erebonia, but we're persevering. That perseverance is what brought us together again, and the fact that we've found each other makes everything we've been through along the way worth it. Yes, I couldn't agree more. But I know that I wouldn't have been able to come this far if not for all of you. It was only because I knew I could have faith in all of you that I could do any of what I did. So, thank you. You've really grown strong, Emma. <laughs> Thank you, Celine. Thank you for all the support you've given my classmates. And thank you for coming all the way here with them to see me. <sighs> huh, please, it was nothing. But I'm glad you're okay, I guess. At least I won't end up astray. <laughs> Celine, there's nothing wrong with being honest about your feelings, you know. Oh, she's so happy. Boy, does it feel great to be together again. Right. Well, we've done what we set out to do here. There's no sign of any more cryptids, either. Might I suggest we return to Legram for now? Count me in. You guys are fine with that too, right? That's fine by me. We can tell you more about what we've been doing since we parted ways. Then we're off to the pier! That fog's actually a little less dense than it was on our way here. Maybe because we defeated those cryptids. Most likely so. I imagine they were accelerating the development of a problem that would have appeared regardless. So, while the situation should settle down, for now, I imagine it'll happen again in due time. Indeed, the fundamental cause is likely elsewhere and much more complex. The Gram as a whole will mu have to stay... Rary for a mo for a while, I suppose. Still, listening to what you had to say, it's troubling to think of how uh unpredictably unpredictable this war is. There's no telling what direction is going to take. Yeah, unfortunately, the fighting between the Noble Alliance and Imperial Army is showing no signs of letting up, and we still got no idea what's going on over at the Academy. Or what happened to the Courageous and Viscount Arsade. It's been over a month since we last heard from either of them. I'm a little worried, to tell the truth. I'm still fully convinced we have nothing to worry about in that regard. My father is alive and well. Of that, I am certain. I believe in him. If you believe in him, then I will too. <laughs> I'm sure he's perfectly fine. I find myself more concerned about the whereabouts of Master Eusis. One would expect Duke Alvarea's son to be easier to find than he is. Eusis was in Legram at one point, wasn't he? Do either of you have any idea where he is now? He was with us when we fa uh, fled the academy, yes. Several days ago, he boarded a train to Breahard. Oh, that's where he was going. He was growing increasingly concerned over what was ha was. What was happening in the region? I guess there was no stopping him. At least we know where he went. That's a relief. That's one of the Alliance's most well-protected strongholds now. 
I'm surprised it's even possible to get there by train. It was at, a at the time, but not anymore. The Alliance has brought in heavy restrictions on railway travel since its uh, departure. We've been at a loss as to what to do. That explains it. Well, we can think about that when we get back to town. If it comes to it, we could always walk there using highways. Uh. Emma? What's wrong? I feel like I should have told you so many things a long time ago. About me, and Celine, and about Divine Knights and Awakeners. That means... Does that mean you're ready to tell us now? Yes, I... Well, if you're sure... I imagine you've heard some of this from Celine already, but still. Enrolling at Thor's was originally part of my duty as one of the Hexen clan. It's a clan of witches that traces its origins far back into the past. What kind of duty would have you enroll at a military academy? It's one that's been passed down through our clan for a long, long time. We must watch over the fragments of the great power sealed deep underground and observe whatever comes to pass regarding them, just as it did for many others before her. That duty fell to Emma as well. When you say the great power, you mean Valimar, right? Did both of you know about the Divine Knights this whole time? We knew of their existence, yes, as well as the fact that they choose an Awakener. And that their chosen Awakener will be drawn into an unavoidable battle. <clears throat> hmm. Just because you had the potential to become one, you were drawn into a great conflict against your will. And not just you, Reen. The rest of us have become secondary contractors, and yet I couldn't say or do anything for you. I couldn't even give you a simple word of warning. What right do I have to call myself your classmate after failing all of you like that? Hmm. Emma, you didn't fail us at all. Emma, you're not going to say what I think you're going to say, are you? I'm sure this isn't what you want to hear after coming all this way to find me. But this is where we should part ways. Emma. You said it yourself back in the old schoolhouse. You said Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer, right? Uh. I may not always show much in the way of class spirit, but I'm confident Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer. We all come from different backgrounds, and we all had things we were maybe scared to, or couldn't, tell anyone. Crow has his past, you have yours, I have this strange power of mine that I've carried with me for as long as I can remember. That doesn't directly relate to the Divine Knights in any way, does it? No, though there's always the possibility it may be one of the reasons why you were chosen. I know plenty about witches and their history, but none of that gives me a clue as to what your powers could be. Alright then. The point is that even after learning I had this monstrous power within me, you all accepted me without a second thought. I feel that I'm a part of Class 7 as much as anyone else, and I'm proud to say I am too. Class 7 is only the best there is because it has every one of us in it. Me, Elisa, Elliot, Laura, Thee, Machias, Eusus, Gaius, Milium, Crow, and you, Emma. You're not an exception. Without you, our class wouldn't be what it is. Just like it wouldn't be if any one of us weren't a part of it. Oh, Reen, I... What he said. <laughs> so I don't want to hear you say anything like that ever again. We want you right where you are. Guiding me, guiding all of us. And not just as a witch but as the kind class president and caring friend you always have been. <laughs> Good goodness! <laughs> How can I possibly refuse when you put it like that? <laughs> All right then, I can't deny the ancient knowledge that I possess or my position as a witch, but I always want to remain the same Emma Milstein of Class 7 that I have been since the day I joined Thor's. So please, let me stay at your side. Of course. 
<laughs> that goes without saying. We wouldn't want it any other way. Class 7 really isn't Class 7 without you in it. What a picturesque fairy tale ending. I couldn't be more pleased. And the timing couldn't have been more perfect. I can see Legram coming into view now. Would everyone mind gathering their things and... What's that? Is that an airship? It's coming from the sky to the west. Is that? Uh-oh. That's an Alliance airship. An Alliance airship? Wait, that's a commanding officer ship too. Indeed. Well, it seems we have ourselves some visitors. My apologies for the unexpected arrival. I should have sent word. I am Aurelia Le Guin of the Noble Alliance. I wish to make a brief visit to the territory of Viscount Arsade. It's a pleasure to see you again, your ladyship. And a pleasure to meet you as well, Brigadier General. <laughs> we were simply in the area, so we thought we might drop by and pay you a visit. It's been quite some time since we last met. I was hoping to take the opportunity to apologize to my master for not staying in touch. But I see that won't be possible. Unfortunately so. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded setting eyes on the famous Radiant Blade Master, but I suppose I'll have to be content with meeting his daughter. I'm honored, General. I can't believe they're here. They seem to be provincial army officers. They're really intimidating. Their names are General Aurelia Le Guin and Brigadier General Wallace Bardius. They're said to be the two strongest generals in the provincial armies. Yeah, I don't think there are many people interested in martial arts who don't know about them. That's how famous they are. Brigadier General Bardius is otherwise known as the Black Whirlwind. He's known for his unparalleled spearmanship. From what I've heard, he has Nord blood running through him, too. Oh, I see. Actually, he does kind of remind me of Gaius. He seems pretty strong. A number of warriors from Nord were said to have fought with Emperor Dreykels during the War of the Lions. Perhaps he's a descendant of theirs? Yeah, that makes sense. As for the woman with him... She's generally known as the Golden Rakshasa. She's also a countess and head of the Le Guin family, as well as commander of the Le Maire Provincial Army. And hard as it is to believe, I've heard she's a practitioner of both the Arsade and Vander Schools of Swordsmanship. What? Wasn't the Vander School practiced by the guardians of the Imperial family? Is she even human? Both of them are key public figures in the Alliance. What could they possibly want in a neutral region such as this, I wonder? Still, it won't do to have you standing around here. Allow me to show you to my father's office. Klaus, would you prepare some tea? Oh, there's no need to concern yourself with that. Seeing that the Viscount isn't here gave us all the information that we needed.
What might you be suggesting? Be at ease. We didn't come to criticize anyone for the Crimson Wing's appearance near Trista. Uh. Still, it's always good to know who you're fighting against. The way I see it, you're continuing to remain neutral now. But if it came to it, you wouldn't be afraid to take up arms for your personal sense of justice. There's no need to be hasty. We have more than enough opponents to be going on with. For now, let's focus on drawing out Craig the Red and One-Eyed Zex. We can't allow Rufus to be the only one making any major achievements. <laughs> True enough. It would please me so if you were to fight under me one day, too. I believe you have the potential to surpass even me, given sufficient practice. I am honored that you would say so. However, my swordsmanship is inexperienced at best. I wouldn't dare presume to have the potential to surpass anyone at this stage. I would ask that you wait until I can at least best my father in a duel before making that invitation. Then wait I shall. I look forward to the day. With that, I believe it's time we took our leave. Perhaps so. I was hoping you would introduce us to your friends, but they seem to be feeling rather shy. <laughs> Teasing them, are you? I'm sure we'll have the opportunity one day. I sense great potential within them. As do I. I apologize for being unable to do anything to make your visit more comfortable. Klaus, please escort them. As you wish, milady. <laughs> Come to think of it. Perhaps you wouldn't mind joining me in a battle before I depart. I haven't had the joy in quite some time. I hardly think an old man such as myself would prove to be a worthy opponent to one of your strength, General. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. You haven't let your guard down for a second since I stepped into Legram. Laura! <laughs> I'm sorry that you had to see me like that. It took all that I had not to be overwhelmed by their sheer presence. I'm not surprised. We could feel it well enough ourselves and we weren't even in the room. That didn't stop them from noticing us, though. My fur was on end the whole time. Yeah. <sighs> I almost let out a little yelp when they mentioned us. I wonder who'd win between them and Zeno and Leo. This just goes to show how many skilled people the Alliance has among their ranks. With warriors such as them on the field to say nothing of Lord Rufus Alborea, we can't afford to underestimate them. All very true. Still, that's no reason to give up now. We need to keep pressing on. And on that note, I think it's about time we left ourselves. Let's go and bring back Eusis. And once we've done that, then we can decide what we're going to do and who we're going to be fighting against. <laughs> Indeed. Then let's start heading to Berea Hard. Are we just going? Alright. Klaus, I leave Legram in your care. Should Father return during my absence, please give him my warmest uh, regards. But of course, Lady Laura, worry not. The Gram will be in safe hands with me. But if you wouldn't mind, everyone, please do look out for Lady Laura for me. We always do. Thanks for keeping an eye on Emma for so long. Please do well, or please be well, Klaus. Haha, <laughs> your words are much appreciated, but unnecessary. I will be perfectly fine, I assure you. The path ahead of you will be fraught with many challenges and dangers. But I will be praying that you all will... That you all will be able to navigate it safely to its end. And from there, forge your own paths. Do keep yourself safe. Thank you, Klaus. We'll be back as soon as we're able. It looks like the generals have left already. Yeah, that's our cue to get going too. But it does look like we'll have to use the highway to get to Brayhard, though. That shouldn't be a problem. Following the Ebel Highway north will lead us straight to it. Perhaps we should pay a visit to the Bracer Guild before we head out. 
The receptionist there might appreciate a goodbye before we move to Parehard. Yeah, you're probably right. Lori and Emma join the party. Reen and Laura can now use overdrive. Reen and Emma can now use overdrive. Uh, reaching Bray Hard will cause the main story to advance. I imagine there's probably some side questy type things that I should do here. Which I will do later. For now. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please press that like, share, favorite, subscribe, bell buttons. All the buttons. Press all the buttons. Uh, next time I'm gonna go to Bray Hard. Probably, hopefully, do all the things that I need to do, find uses. Excellent job, me. <laughs> do an excellent job. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time, goodbye.